everybody it's Karina with Karina loves to plan welcome back to my channel so I will be planning for this week which is Monday April 22nd through to Sunday April 28th in my dashboard mini happy planner so I'll just give you a quick look to last week's spread where I went all Eastery and used the classic size and mini size seasonal sticker books so for this week before I even show you what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna take these pages out of the mini happy planner place them on the desk. It's just always easier for me to decorate this way. And what I'm going to be using actually is I'm going to go back, you guys know this, I like to use up my old stash. So I'm going back to the very original Color Story sticker book and I'm going to be using this theme in here. Obviously there's some stickers already missing but I'm going to be using this theme today because I just want to use what I've got. I'm really kind of going off the florals in that sticker and I'm also going to be pulling in the new Fun Floral sticker book because it's good to use something old with something new. And I'll be using the floral stickers on that page there. Ooh, shaking my whole setup here. Sorry guys. All right, let's get started. Now I know there's a little bit of a challenge going on trying to use that box and not really cover it up but I have difficulty really with using that box because it may not necessarily be the color that I want to use, but going back to these pages with those florals, I think I'm not necessarily gonna cover it up. I'm going to put this beautiful, this is the Good Life sticker, right? Uh, this is what happens when like you let go of one part of the sticker and then doesn't go down the way you want it to. And now it's all wrinkly. And I hate when stickers get all wrinkly. Then I want to, let's see, let's adjust my chair here. I, mm, mm, I want to do something that covers up the errands because I mean, it's just the word errands. And because all of these florals in here are translucent, it even if I try to cover it up, it'll still show through. I mean, I could try, but I'm sure that the word errands will still, yeah, it will still show up. So I'm gonna have to try and cover it with something else here. And I'm gonna just, do like that. I don't normally use that box anyway, so that is fine by me. Now, I'm gonna, let's see. I wanted to use this sticker, and I really wanted to use it down here, but I know that it is a bit too big. So, let's grab my scissors, and just cut the edges may not be exactly straight, but. Cute. Now, I'm going to cover up where it says focus here because it's not really the focus section. I use that for different things every week, so. a big today sticker. I feel like if I place that there then I'm covering that up so I don't want to do that. I'm going to... I'm just thinking which floral do I want to use in that little corner. It's very pretty. Oh, I'm doing that a lot today. Um, okay, I think I have an idea. So if I wanted to go this way, then I'm gonna cut it like this. Like that, and then... Okay, 
decided. Because I don't want to waste these photos. They're too pretty. Too pretty. So I'm just going to put that over here. And then I am going to place a box over that because I do need that section for meal planning. So I'm going to pull in my Colorful Boxes sticker book here. And I'm actually going to keep these kind of do what I did last week, keep these boxes black. I love the look of the black with all of these, so I am happy for that to stay black and actually cover this up as well. Then, I'm wondering if I put the sticker down first and then put the floral on top because I don't want to cover it up. I really don't want to cover it up. So cut that in half so that it isn't covered up. I'll still have... And then I could probably place this underneath. See? get more out of the floral that way. Pretty. Very, very pretty. And then the to buy. I feel like this is the most number of sticker books I'm using in any one spread. I normally keep to like one or two. So this for me is like pretty big. Okay. I'm going to use one of these to do's and Place it there. Um, maybe cover that one. And then choose a really cute little floral to go with it. Mm, I'd like it, but... Oh, I'm peeling off some of that white out. Um, like that, or no, I should have done it like this. I should have done it. It's hard to line these up once you've taken them off. That is much better. I like that. And then I'm going to put something down here. Do I want to keep it black or do I want to maybe just leave it as saying important? That is pretty. I love the look of that already. Very, very cute. Very simple. And I want to keep it that way. Um, maybe I'll add one little thing up there. One tiny little floral, maybe? Oh, that's a reminder. Maybe a little floral? There's something in the corner. I think actually that helps. Perfect. So, that side of my dashboard is all done. I'm going to move on to the weekly. And let's see what I want to do. Now with my weekly, I'm going to bring in some date covers as well. Just want to make sure I have the correct ones. If you guys have seen any of my previous plan with me's, I've kind of, <laughs> kind of, I won't say screwed them up, but gotten to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't actually have any dates for the week. So I'm gonna wipe this part out. If I can do this straight. Oh, that's so not straight. Oh my god. Okay. And I'm going to use one of these over it. Although I know I won't need the whole thing. So I'm going to measure out the approximate length that I need. 
So really, it's about two inches. Okay, so if I can get two inches about there, which one do I want to use though? I'll use this side. And cut off about two inches. So about there. Oh no! Oh no, I accidentally took the other part off with me. Don't want to do that. So just placing that. Because I need all seven lines on the spread, so I do have to raise it up a bit. Now, I don't think I have all seven lines. I think I have six. And checking my work schedule. Got my computer open right here in front of me, actually. Just checking my work schedule. I don't know if that will fit now, but I will make it work. And then, sorry guys, I'm keeping, I'm like moving around here like crazy. What I'm gonna do next is actually put down the, am I gonna put down the dates first? Yeah, I'll put down the dates. Okay, so the 22nd. Keeping the dates very simple this week, no major foiling. I just want to kind of use what I've got on hand. I'm checking my schedule for the following week as well. Okay, I'm okay. The 24th, and I know there's a lot of, whoa, that's not straight. Do I really care? Somebody had um, commented on one of my videos that they prefer the dated just so that they don't feel like they're really missing anything. Um, and I completely get that, that you want to make yourself accountable and decorate all of your spreads, especially if they're dated. And I completely understand that. But um, for me, I, I could not find a dashboard layout here that, that I liked in Canada, so I had to settle for an extension pack, and I'm very happy with the extension pack. So I'll put that away. So now florals going into the florals. Now I'm trying to think ahead if there's anything majorly important for that week in April, and I don't think there is. No, it's really just bills and stuff. So I could use this big and, but I... Because now decorating is really just gonna be about the florals. So now I think I want to try and put florals. Cause there's floral here, maybe a floral here, and maybe a floral here. Um, just kind of do a bit of a triangle of florals. So, let's see. Like this is a nice big floral, but I kind of want to save some for the journal spread. Or, what if I, just trying to think what the best thing would be to do in this instance because I could use this and use it and go across that way and then kind of use another one on here so that I have those as the triangles, but I feel like, is that too simple, do you think? Let's try it and place that down there. And then I will pick another floral. And then place it here. Oh, it's gonna go off the page. That's okay. Oh, I hate wasting that. I hate wasting that, okay. So then, that's actually quite pretty. Then, got my daughter playing the, uh, 
Okay, I've got my daughter playing the keyboard upstairs. Now, I'm gonna go in with some black boxes and I'm running out of these, so I'm gonna need to buy the sticker book again. Um, my kids don't have school on Monday because it is Easter Monday, but I will have a couple of tasks I will need to put under there. So I'm trying to think which would be the best color mild liner to use for those, or if I just go in with some, maybe some icons. Yeah, I'll do a pink one to put down here. Then Tuesday, Tuesday will go with a bit of a bigger box. Now I could use the boxes that are in here, but I do love, I do love a good black box. Place that over here. Very pretty. I'm gonna leave Wednesday. Actually, I won't leave Wednesday. I will put little icons for Wednesday. This one got stuck on this, and I think that is stuck there. Oh, there we go. Cute, cute, cute. So, just to remember the things I've got going that day. I, I basically put one icon for two items. It just looks neater to me that way. There we go. And then Thursday, this one is a little bit busier, Thursday. I've got coffee with my friends. I always have coffee with my friends. I love coffee with my friends. Then I pick up groceries, and then actually there's nothing else. So really, it's just two things on that day. So put that sticker, and yeah, I'll put. Or maybe I'll switch these around. Maybe I'll put a heart sticker for going for... It's my weekly coffee with my friends. Um, after our Weight Watchers workshop or our WW workshop, we go for coffee afterwards, and it really does help my sanity every single week. Then Friday, that's where I'm going to use two boxes. Go back to this sticker book here. And two black boxes for my workshop. That Well, I won't use two black boxes because really there's only one major thing that I'm doing that day. So just one box. And then Saturday is a bit busier as it always is. So I'm wondering, is that, no, that's not going to be big enough for all the things that we have to do that day. I'm going to have to use two black boxes. That's okay. I'm running out of these. I definitely need to buy more. But my Michaels currently doesn't have these in stock, so I'll have to go somewhere else in the city to find them. And then Sunday, no major plans, so I'm going to leave that as is. Now, I'll put these two pages together. Let's see. I love that. Now, I feel like this corner is quite empty, so I do want to put something there and maybe something in the top corner here as well. So going back into these florals, I may use this. Oh, that's pretty too, though. Oh, I have an idea. That is so pretty, but obviously I don't want to use the whole thing. And I want to cut this in a way that I don't cut off any single floral. Ooh, that's, that's fragile. Perfect, so that still leaves plenty to use and I will probably be using this in my journal, my journaling spread. Okay. So I'm going to have this come off the page a bit because of the angle that it's at. So see there. Then I will cut off the excess. Now it's not straight. I think it wasn't laid down straight. So just cut off the excess there and I'm going to immediately transfer that 
to Monday. Actually, I'm going to think about that. That's not too much. Not too much. But these, I think, are quite dainty, so I'm going to leave them for something else. And I'm going to put a bigger floral up in the corner, like this one, just to add something to that corner. I love that. Simple, floral, yet really functional. I don't know, there's something about the black boxes right now that I'm loving, loving the look of the black boxes. All right, so that is it for me. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will do an after the pen video of this. I am really enjoying the after the pen videos because I like taking you guys with me through my process. All right, so again, any questions, leave them down below. And if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.